xây tương thân tình trong đạo phật tùy khác màu nhưng một tôn sư hôm nay đây cùng nhau họp mặt quyết nói theo đường phật giáo hoàng dương nam mô a di đà phật con là đại đức ân minh xin cung kính à, chào tiêu tông đức giáo phẩm tiêu tông đức Chư Tôn Đức Tăng Ni và quý Phật tử à, con hôm nay có duyên sự có trở lại để làm show à, chung với à, sư chú Ấn Tri, à, chú là sở di của chùa Giải Pháp và cũng là sư đệ với con. All right. Hello everybody, we are back to share with you um, the next question that Ấn Tri might have. Yeah, so last time we were talking about how to practice good deeds and trying to do things that don't harm other people. And so from that, you were explaining something about fruit. And so as you explain the fruit, I kind of connected it to karma. And so we always hear Buddhism and karma. Mm -hmm. And can you explain a little bit of what these fruits are, what karmic benefits can happen to us if we practice okay. wholesome habits? Of course. Um, but before we can go even further with that, we have to understand the fundamentals of the laws of cause and effect, karma, mm -hmm. right? For the laws of cause and effect basically says that every action that you do always has a specific, every action that you do always has a specific reaction. That means if you do good, you'll get good. If you do bad, you'll get bad. Just do it on a natural level. If I were to plant a lemon seed, right, what do I grow into? A lemon seed creates a lemon tree. Lemon tree. If I were to plant an orange seed, it will grow into what? An orange tree. If I were to plant an apple seed, it will turn into what? An apple tree. An apple tree. So whatever seed that I plant, it will grow up into that specific plant. On the spiritual level of the energetic level of the laws of cause and effect, mm -hmm. that every positive action that you create, you will have a positive outcome. Mm -hmm. Every negative seed you create, you will experience a negative outcome. Mm -hmm. And so we have to understand that's the basic law, the cause of an effect. And of course, it goes into intricate details as you get study even further. But let's just talk about the surface level. Right? And so here, when the Buddha said, when we practice the Dharma, we experience what you call the Magafala. Mm -hmm. The Magafala basically says that the fruit always comes after the path. Mm -hmm. And the path here is practicing the Dharma, mm -hmm. using the Dharma in situations. For example, imagine all of us are in a sailboat and we're all trying to get to point A to point B. The same wind blows on us all. The same wind of disaster, the wind of opportunity, the wind of construction, the wind of destruction, the wind of positivity, and the wind of negativity. It all blows on us. However, the person that knows how to set the sail correctly uses the wind to move the sail from point A to point B. Mm. Practicing the Dharma is learning how to set that sail in a way that you respond positively to every obstacle or every failure that you face. All of us go through obstacle. All of us go through failures. All of us go through hardship. All of us go through pain. All of us go through heartache. All of us go through hard times. But the person that knows how to set the sail in their mind Learning how to respond positively instead of negatively will overcome the obstacle that is placed in their way. Mm -hmm. And they learn how to build themselves up. And once you learn how to respond positively, you start to reap the benefits of the positive thoughts that you have. Mm -hmm. That's just one example. You know, there, I can go into infinite examples. Because the laws of cause and effect is infinite. Mm. There's infinite opportunities, there's infinite directions, there's infinite ways that can be done. Mm. But here, to go back down to the basic of things, is that always do good. Now, if all the Buddhas were to congregate together in this room, mm -hmm. they would say, simply, to avoid all evils, 
to do good and to purify the mind. Mm. That is a teaching of all the Buddhas. Wow. And so do good and just avoid all the bad things. Mm. Is how you experience the, the Magaphala, which wow. is the fruit that always comes after the path. Mm -hmm. So my question is then, is there comes a time where there is resistance where it's really hard to um, bounce back from a failure because sometimes things seem impossible to lift yourself out from. And so the question I'm trying to ask is, you know, sometimes some people aren't that nice to us, you know, mm -hmm. like, so I guess, or some family members may mistreat us, people closest to us, mm -hmm. or, you know, you've been doing a business for 20 years and it completely destroyed itself. And so through the most utmost complete failure, how do you still find that positive blink in that, you know, that crisis that you've been faced? Mm. Every failure, every hardship, every obstacle, every low point in your life will always have a seed of opportunity for something greater. Mm. A lot of the great people that, ex that they're famous now or they're great, all went through intense trauma oh. or failures, but they learned how to pick themselves up. They learned how to reuse the knowledge that they have. They learned to pick up something along the way that can help get them back on their feet and charge moving forward. Remember, everything in the universe, mm -hmm. everything in nature is in constant motion. Mm -hmm. Those who are in constant motion will reap the abundance of the universe. One single seed can create a whole entire forest. Oh, yeah. Right? So, in nature, everything is already abundant. Mm -hmm. Everything is more than enough. But the reason why the universe blesses things that are in constant motion is because that's how nature works. Mm. If you're in motion, if you're in motion with the universe, you will reap the benefit of what the universe has to offer. Mm. But on the other hand, if you in motion, but in a negative way, mm -hmm. remember, it's also abundant. Oh, it's the other so way around. It's the other way around. Wow. So when you're facing your most extreme failure, if you're in the most lowest point of your life, remember, Everything is temporary mm -hmm. and permanent. That's true. Everything is temporary. And if you see the impermanence of things, if you see the temporary matters of things, then it helps you not become attached to that failure, mm -hmm. but rather use that failure as a stepping stone for your next idea mm -hmm. or something that you know that you shouldn't do. That you shouldn't do. You know, if your marriage is failing, it didn't fail in one day, but there, it was a, a process. So learn where it happened and fix it. If your business is failing, it, it doesn't fail in one day, but there was a process of habits that's not been enforced. Are you adapting to the new culture? Are you adapting to the new wave of technology? Are you adapting to how social media and all the internet works? If you're not, then you're staying behind, right? Mm. Look at Nokia, for example. Nokia used to be a very strong, powerful company that produces one of the most reliable phones on the planet. Mm -hmm. Still to this day, if you drop a Nokia, it can break the ground. Yeah. It's very reliable, right? But Nokia did fail to keep up with the flow of things, and therefore they got caught left behind. Right. You know, even though they recently re released their, their old phones, right, which is cool, but to battle against Google, Android, Apples, and iPhones, mm -hmm they got left behind because right. they're not adapting to how the new way works. Buddhism teaches you how to adapt uh, and understanding it and learning how to always be in motion mm -hmm. and learning your mistakes so yeah. you can build something greater that can help influence other yeah. people. So I learned like you're already hurt, you're already in pain, mm -hmm. you might as well get something out of that. Exactly. <laughs> you, know? you either stay still and be in bed all day, you know, miserable or you can like, you know, 
turn off TV. <laughs> Hopefully stay tuned for this show. Yeah. And, uh, you know, get moving. Get exactly. Get with your life and do whatever you uh, possibly want to dream to do. Exactly. And exactly. so uh, we're in uh, the next uh, commercial break. Exactly. And to we will uh, continue after these commercial breaks. Say the trong đạo phần, tùy khát màu nhưng một tổ. 